Welcome back to the Evil Within 2. It's time to head up further north, or maybe not necessarily further north, but just to a northern area that we haven't been to before. I'm going to go up here this time, check out this rogue signal, maybe make my way up to the woman's voice. In all caps. But before that, let's upgrade my weapon. I've got 195 weapon parts, so I'll definitely do some good stuff. Firepower is really expensive, right? Yeah, 200 parts to go from 130% to 140% damage. Let's look at something else. Weapon clip capacity. Good. Not too expensive. I don't feel like fire rate really matters. I mean, I don't really just spray the pistol as fast as it can go. I aim for headshots. But it's pretty cheap to make it a bit faster. Increase walking speed while aiming to 165%. That's a big increase. Hmm. Let's check out this. I've only upgraded this once, right? Just the range. Yeah, it's got pretty good range. Charge time would be a good thing to do. Yeah, usually the first upgrades are pretty cheap. This one's only 30, so I'm going to do some of the early things here. Better charge time. Harpoon bolt increased damage by 50%. Whew. Explosive bolt increased damage. Alright, that's the bigger effect chain for the shock bolt. Let's increase the damage of the Harpoon Bolt, and maybe increase the effect chains to more enemies over a greater distance? This is from 1 to 2, so does that mean it can affect 2 enemies? I want to start giving some more love to the Warden Crossbow. And then, can I do anything with 35 parts? Can I get the first one here? Okay, yeah, I'll grab the first fire right here. Don't think it's going to be too important, but I don't know. Maybe with a boss or something. Maybe I'll want to just unload. I think I want to craft. I'm pretty good on handgun bullets. Um, Actually, let me craft three more. Let me get up to 20. Uh, so it takes one of those each to make one harpoon bolt. I'll make two. That's the only thing it takes, too. doesn't even take any gunpowder. That's cool. I'll make one of those. I've already got two of those. Now I've got two, two, three. That's pretty good. And I'm full on syringes and medical kits. All right. I'm not sure how much goo I have, but I'm not going to worry about it. I'll upgrade later. That way when I come back, I'll have so much goo I can get something really good. So I think it's over here, that's that other street, right? Yeah, this map still shows you everything as if the world hadn't collapsed. <laughs> so, like, this whole year, this whole bit here isn't accessible anymore. That's this. Can I climb on top of a fire hydrant? Damn, I can't. Down there, right? What? You're not going with me? No time. 
No, it highlights the whole building. The body shop to get some supplies. Neat. Take a peek inside. Heck yeah, more flour. Oh. Oh fuck. This is... I'm pretty sure this is a building where some bad stuff happens. I think this is a section I saw somebody play through when I was watching them play a little bit of this game. Such good people. A new signal. James, where the fuck are you? Get your ass to the visitor center. You're never gonna believe. Visitor center it is. I think that's just like a back door that goes outside the house, so let's go down here. This might not be the house I was thinking of. I'm not sure. It really looks like it, but... It might be the woman's voice house. data. Soft hum of a server rack, or whatever that is. Go to the marrow armory. Huh. This computer's still working. What the...
Dang, shouldn't have made handgun rounds. Can't pick them all up. This place is... Yeah, this place is too big. I want to try these newly upgraded... Harpoon rounds out. Because I know that they won't die with one sneak attack. Holy crap, that doesn't kill him either. Has no idea where that came from, though. Towards where it broke for some reason. Come on. Oh, I have no more bottles. Wow, even it still doesn't kill him. Christ, these things are hardy. Ugh. Could he just like stomp their head? They're still wiggling. Alright, they stopped. Jesus. Uh, that one might wake up. But let's get this one at least.
problem solved. Fuse boxes can be powered momentarily by firing a shock bolt from the warden crossbow into them. <laughs> All right. Another mini game. I didn't know this game actually had mini games until the last one at the auto parts garage place. Now, just the height width till it matches the red one. Okay. Okay. Something like that. There we go. So many pistol rounds, I should actually use my pistol. should we assign you to? Let's put you on the bottle, number three. And let's assign you to number five. You know, I'm like actually never using this pistol that doesn't have the laser sight thing. So I think I'm just going to get rid of that. That's the laser-sided handgun. I'll put that on one. I'll put the shotgun on two. This on three. And the bottle on four. Okay. Well, it's still there on number five, but whatever. That's fine. Holds three rounds right now. Very inaccurate, as you'd expect. You can go halfway through politely opening it and then choose to kick it. Just like press E and then double tap. Oh, it's too late. Let's try it again. E, double tap. didn't have a shock arrow. I don't know, maybe this is just to progress in this area, and maybe I could use the computer back there to get back out. I never actually tried. Oh. him to spot me a little bit. Alright, saw something. Come investigate. Curiosity killed the zombie monster thing. Just gonna go to it. Oh, 
Oh yeah, yeah, so the whole thing was just a bonus thing to get like another one of these. So this isn't how I escaped this place. Alright, now I think it's time to leave. Still can't get that pistol ammo. Is it a two-step process going back as well? Looks like it. Some sort of like between land. So cool. Okay, so visitor center. Maybe this was the house I was thinking of. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I think this might be the house I was thinking of. I think I'm just straight up dead. Not quite, we're alive. I just kind of wanted to test out the shotgun. Okay. Yeah, shotgun's good, but it doesn't just kill them in one hit or anything like that. No, I guess that wasn't the house I was thinking of still. I don't know. Maybe a lot of the houses look similar. Anyway, uh, I'm going to go run back to the safe house and drink some coffee. Save it, and I'll bring you back when I go to use some of the green goo. Before upgrading, let's actually use my key. Aw. Handgun bullets. Well, at least I can come back and get the rest later. Alright, so I'm very, very inclined to get the next level of Prowler. Move faster while crouched from 125% to 150%. But, I also feel like I should maybe just get like a little bit of everything. But no, I'm going to do it. <laughs> and then I'll get what I can of some other stuff. Because again, the first level of most things is pretty cheap. That doesn't seem very useful. 10% more health. I'm not big on that one. But let's increase the life gauge maximum 25%. And then I don't think we have enough to get anything else.
Let's see if we can upgrade the shotgun. I'm not sure how many spare parts we have. Probably not many. Oh, 75. Yeah, I'm sure we can upgrade it. Firepower is always a good one. Oh my god. 5% more damage for 90 parts. Are you kidding me? That's terrible. Alright, well fire rate's going to be pretty important. Because that's a very close range weapon. So you do really want to kind of unload it. And also ammo capacity. It's pretty big. Let's go with ammo capacity. Don't want to have to reload. And... Fire rate. Alright, let's head over to the visitor center. Oh yeah, we got our new movement speed when crouched. So fast! I wonder if it's, like, I wonder what the speed difference between crouching and walking is. Walking's still definitely faster. But not by that much. got a little butterfly next to it. Is that a message from my daughter or something? Well, <laughs> let's go anyway. I've recognized this work. Him again. Get you out of here. Look, man, just let me go. I can take you somewhere safe. We've got supplies. Stick with me. I can get you out of here. Safe? What's interesting about safe? Why would I want to leave here? This place is a work in progress, but soon it will be perfect. All it requires is my inspiration and your blood. What the fuck is wrong with you, dude? Don't move. Oh shit! Oh shit! Help! Somebody help me! I said don't move. No. Tough luck, Ryan. Huh. Another communicator. Must be Ryan's. Huh. Mobius team members. They might have something useful on them. Turner's communicator log. Turner, I rigged my communicator to pick up Unity chip signals. I managed to find locations for the rest of the security team. What's left of them, anyway. They'll have supplies, and it's not like they need them anymore. All of these chips are broadcasting from dead brains. It's got a bunch of locations added. Oh, yeah. So basically, like, a serial killer managed to find their way into the simulation and started having some fun, I guess. Damn it. Where did he go?
it's gonna wake up, right? I didn't even know I had an axe on me. What the hell is this supposed to be? It's sick. Still no bottles. That was weird. Even for this place. O'Neill's safe house is right there. Might as well give him the bad news about his entourage face to face. Oh, I gotta talk to O'Neill again. Hey O'Neill, got some news. Your friends are dead. Did you find them? They're dead. But after what I saw, you're better off without them around. They were planning on killing everybody in here. An alpha one emergency, huh? Can't say it's the worst idea I've heard. You're a real piece of work, O'Neill. You know that? I'm just being a realist. You can't save everybody. It's impossible. Mobius made emergency plans for a reason. If they never made this twisted machine, they wouldn't need emergency plans in the first place. Maybe so. But look at what they've done. It's pretty incredible. Still a company man after all this, huh? Hope your loyalty pays off for you in the end. Because right now, it seems like they don't give a shit about you. What do you mean? They sent you in here, didn't they? Sorry, I didn't mean to make you angry. Here. I made some more of these for you. For your troubles. 150 weapon parts. You do have some use, O'Neill. Those things are piling corpses up here. But why? All right. There's a little pathway that kind of goes up into the woods up there. I wonder where that leads. I don't really see it on the map. Head for the woman's voice. It's going to be behind me when I open this, isn't it?
Oh, no. It just doesn't stay open. <laughs> that thing stayed sleeping through all this, but it's obviously gonna wake up. Well, there's no way to really stealth kill it. I guess I should just shoot it. Finally, bottles. That's one of the stronger ones. Yeah, come investigate. Ah, oh, damn it. Maybe I can stealth stab it twice to kill it. Yeah, alright, that works. They don't seem inclined to chase you too far. Wait, isn't that where I came from? That's where I came from, and now there's someone there. That's new. I wonder where they came from. Oh, nice. Okay, woman's voice. Pretty sure this might be more of the thing I was thinking about.
what's happening. Final entry of this diary, penned in an unsteady hand. There's something in this house with me. I can't see it, but I sense its presence. I don't think I want to see it. I can hear those horrible things outside. They're everywhere. I'm afraid to go out there. But I'm afraid to stay in here, too. I'm shivering, but it's not from fear. Why did it get so cold all of a sudden? It's freezing. Yep, this is what I remember. This is definitely what I remembered. It's coming for me. I gotta get out of here. can just go through doors. <sighs> what I need I need a fucking key card. It's coming back. I can see it. I just saw it through the little tiny bit of the There's window. Some way to get out of here. I need to go through that door. Pretty sure killing it is not an option, by the way. Haven't tried. Didn't see the person who I saw playing it try, but I'm not going to try. Maybe it's not going to come back. for a key card. two rooms I can access from here. What does that mean? The keycard must be somewhere in one of these rooms, right? Go, 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 go. Shit, maybe in here. No! Ooh, ooh, ooh! This might get me out of here. Did it go back to the main room? Yeah, it's back in the main room. I see it. I 
I could try to distract it with a bottle, but I'd rather not. happened there did I just imagine that no that was what was that thing was that real or all in my mind? Well, I mean, like, you're in a simulation thing. Does it really even matter? Another slide. I'll check that back when I'm back at base camp. Okay. Hopefully I can just leave now. I hope. from experience that knifing the ones with fire is not necessarily a good idea because then it explodes and you burn a little bit. I wonder if I could shoot the fire in their hands and it would explode and they would burn and die. Ooh, this might be- hold on, hold on. This might be a good opportunity to try out the shock bolt. I haven't upgraded it to arc across two yet though, have I? I don't remember. Ah, I'm gonna try it anyway. Let's see what happens. I haven't used a single shock bolt. Ah! Never mind. They moved. Well, they're back, but I'm sure by the time I get it out, they'll move. Or not. Maybe not. Fuck! Did they not hear that? <laughs> what? <laughs> they didn't hear that? Okay. Huh. We get another try. Fuck! Oh, I got it back, thank god. This is just not working out. <laughs> gotcha! Ah, whatever. I'm going to try it just on one person. Let's just see how it does. Ah, yes! They dropped it! Alright, well, I'm going to head back and check out that slide.
Tragic fire kills child and nanny. The nanny died too? Didn't know they had a nanny. Kitty cat. Let's go do some more upgrades. There's nothing wrong with being cautious, but you can't avoid fighting forever. Maybe you should think about adding some combat skills. Alright, I can take the hint. Lest reticle sway. I really just... I don't see the point. Gain the ability to kick stunned enemies away from you cannot be used on certain types of enemies. That could be useful. I'm not sure exactly what counts as stunned, but maybe... Maybe when you shoot an enemy and they kind of sort of like look staggered. Maybe that's them being stunned or something. It could be nice. Radical Sway doesn't seem to be a big deal. Maybe it is, I don't know. I'll just get it. I'll take the hint. Are you happy, Tatiana? Okay, I think we got a bit of weapon parts now, too. Oh, we should also craft some more stuff for this, especially. Before doing upgrades. Don't have any shock bolts left. Let's make... I'll make three. Oh, I really need more shotgun shells. I can only hold seven? That's so sad. Just in case I find some in the world, I don't want to max out. I'll leave room for two. Alright, 230 weapon parts. Wow. That is not a very large decrease in reload time. Better walking speed while aiming. Hmm. Oh, I do have a high grade weapon part. I feel like clip capacity is pretty vital for a shotgun. But also the firepower. I just don't get why the firepower increase is so minuscule. 5% increases do not seem worth it. But I don't want to neglect it too much. Alright, I... I'll get the first firepower. I can get the second one too. No, just one. Let's give some more love to the Warden crossbow, even though I seem to be absolutely horrendous at using it. Increased damage with explosive bolts? Yeah! Oh, I did get the first one that allows it to go to two. Oh, couldn't remember. Could get more range, but the range is already pretty good. Can I do anything with the pistol? Definitely not firepower. Yeah, let's get more capacity. Okay. Well, on that note, I think that's a pretty good place to end this episode. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, like always, I'm going to go even further north. 